Okay, I guess we'll show it here. So what we have done is on the right hand side, we have our first parallel pentatonic scale, 3663556. We've taken all these chords, six minor, six major, four minor major, and four full tonality, and they are all over here. There's the six, there's the six, there's the four, there's the four, and there's the four. And what we're going to do with these chords is we've listed all of them. We have a tab for every tonality we've worked with so far. There, and we, it's much, much, much easier to show it by way of this checklist. These are all the tonalities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tonalities. And we have now added them to what we're calling our chord concordance. And the goal of the chord concordance is to start composing pieces of music that cross up and down here, up and down, up and down, by using uh, what we call crossover chords. So a, for example, a C3-4 chord in one tonality might be a tonic, but in another chord, uh, tonality, it might be ambivalent. So we could compose along in, the, in that tonality, then we play C3-4, and boom, we change over to the other tonality, and then go from the ambivalent to whatever is tonic, and it's, and so forth. It'll be a lot easier, trust me when we get down to some examples. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, Part 6, Concordance. In today's episode, we basically brute force went through and made a concordance reference sheet with nine, count them, nine tabs of all the chords in there. There's something like, if I added these all up, I would tell you how many chords there are. Four hundred and twenty-nine chords. Now, some of them have this are the same chords, but like we said a minute ago, they are different functions. And what's important about this is that if we had tried to enumerate all twelve tones times all nineteen possible chords, we would have got something like two hundred and twenty-eight possible chords. So we know that we have we have twice as many here in our scales and that tells us there's an overlap of some of these chords i know it's a bit math but that's okay music and math go together like peanut butter and jelly you know and honey and cinnamon and you know chocolate and peanut butter and whatever else you like so uh nevertheless we suspect there's a few chords over over here boom 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 boom, boom that are not going to be in here but we cannot prove that yet until we do dum -da 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 -da, what we call our next idea. Make a trial full sort, my root interval pair. And for that, we would go into our component spreadsheet here, and we would make a new tab and take all of these, see where that's an A33. And then we would, we would look for other A33s. We know we found a few. Some, there's some other A33s in there somewhere. They're going to be in completely different tonalities, and they may or may not have a completely different function. And that's what we want to compare. So that concludes today's stream. Um, acknowledgments to Miss Cleo for stopping by. Tune in next time to see what happens with crossing the streams. Take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.